Good morning, everyone. Uh, we continue with Matthew's Gospel today, uh, chapter 18, uh, as I said yesterday, uh, and that continues throughout uh, this week. Um, a couple of verses I'd just like to look at today. Um, first of all, today is the optional feast of uh, St. Stephen of Hungary, patron saint of, of Hungary. So those of you who are of Hungarian origin, happy feast day to you. Um, and St. Stephen obviously is uh, that person whose image you saw on the, um, uh, on the opening page of this message. The verse I'd like to look at today is, uh, first of all, Jesus says, I tell you solemnly, whatever you bind on earth shall be considered bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be considered loosed in heaven. Now, the two elements of that, one of them is that whatever happens on earth is uh, recorded in heaven, if you like. Um, it's, it's happening simultaneously. But the other one is, of course, anything that you bind on earth, you take with you. Anything that you um, do on this earth, is it, 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 it's part of our legacy. It, it's what goes with us um, at the time we die. So the link between heaven and earth is an important one. And uh, whatever we do here is going to um, impact in terms of our time with the Lord in eternity. We hope with the Lord in eternity. The second uh, part uh, uh, verse I'd like to look at is, where two or three meet in my name, I shall be there with them. An important element here is we people meet in the name of Jesus. And that uh, encourages us, I think, to always um, take opportunities to meet in the name of the Lord. So people who are involved in faith sharing groups, people who, who, who are involved in any organizations that are happening within the church, that is what the Lord is saying. That if you are doing that in my name, I'm there with you. But if you're not doing it in my name, I'm not there. And, and what's more, he's encouraging us to do it as, as a community. So meeting together with two or three, with other words, with other people, that we can engage with that. The Lord always had people around him, sometimes great multitudes of people, but even called the 12 apostles so that he always had people around him. And uh, uh, it's through that that, in fact, we learn to share our faith and we learn to grow from the influence of others. So I really encourage you, as we're heading towards uh, this month of stewardship, to consider what it is that the Lord is calling you to be involved in, to call, call what opportunities are there or even what opportunities you yourself can create. You have, you have your wonderful day. Um, we'll see you again. God bless. Bye-bye.